was a kid, my mother always told me to use my noodle. And that's why I went into the cooking profession. That's the reason why I slave over the hot stove for the past 75 years. It is easy to love noodles. There are so many of them to love. So let's have some noodles, pasta, and more fun. The first dish I'm going to show you is a very, very great dish from Thailand. I'm always a great fan of Thai cuisine. The dishes in Thailand always combine the hot, the sweet, the sour, and the salty flavor together. So here, I have some rice noodle. This is some Thai rice stick noodle. They're normally wider than the regular Cantonese style or the Chinese style rice stick noodle. Okay. You soak them in water for approximately half an hour to an hour. You can just soak it in cold water or just warm water, or just basically dump it in boiling water. Just rinse it, take it out and rinse it for a little bit so they're nice, still retain that great texture and not overcooked, okay? And then, in the meantime, I'm gonna heat up my wok to get ready because in this particular dish, I have a tiny bit of ground pork. Here is about half a pound of ground pork and about half a pound of prawn. And I want to show you quickly how easy you can slice this, okay? Butterfly this and slice it and cut it in half. Look at this. One, two, three. Done. See that? This is how you do it. Put it over here. And then we're going to use a tiny, tiny bit of garlic. Okay, let's get some garlic. Minced garlic, done. <laughs> and then, this is exciting. I hope this excites you. And then, heat this up. Make sure you heat this up. And then use a tiny bit of oil. I have some oil over here, okay? The, the great thing about exercise is you should always put the bottle of oil about three miles away. So you have to rush over there and get it. By the time you come back, you're totally exhausted. Okay, let's do a tiny bit. If you want to make the dish very, very hot, you put the garlic and also the dry chili pepper. Wow, this is going to be hot. And then you put the ground pork. Stir fry. When you do that, do not breathe. Otherwise, it would choke to death. <laughs> and then you put the prawn in. Look at this. Wow, look at this. Toss them around. Move around. Nice and uniform. You notice that I put the ground pork in first. This is ground pork. Then the prawn, because ground pork, of course, takes a little bit longer to cook. OK? And then when it's nice and done, Put the noodles right in here. Look at this. Nice rice noodle, OK? Stir. And then you're going to make a sauce. You're going to make the sauce. Sometimes you can do it like this, look. Sometimes you can do it like this. Use both of these and stir. Then you can mix really well. And we are going to make the sauce with approximately one quarter of a cup of Ketchup, a tiny bit of fish sauce, one to two tablespoons of fish sauce. Very nice. A tiny bit of sugar, see? Saltiness, sweetness. And also, a tiny, tiny bit of chicken broth. Okay, look at this. Stir, 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 stir. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Huh, 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 huh. This looks so good. When this is done, you take it over here. Look at this. And you can garnish it very, very easily. We're going to put all of these. Shut this off. Look at all these noodles. This is good. It looks good. It tastes good. And it l garnish it with a tiny bit of bean sprout. Thai dishes always, always looks beautiful. If you have time, you can also use an egg. Bit it up because some people are concerned about cholesterol, so I skip the egg. You add egg, you add excitement to your dish. <laughs> and then a tiny bit of chopped cilantro and a couple slices wedges of this nice lime. And then you can garnish 
garnish, garnish, make it look really nice. Finally, you can put a tiny bit of nuts. Traditionally, in Thailand, they use a lot of peanut, but here we use walnut to give some wonderful texture contrast. And you have a beautiful Pad Thai from Thailand. <laughs> now, I'm gonna show you another very popular dish. Now everybody know Vietnamese food is gaining a lot of recognition. So here is a very popular dish in a noodle shop when you go to a Vietnamese restaurant. Here I have some chicken broth or beef broth. Bring it to a boil. Let's bring this to a boil, okay? And then we're gonna get tiny, tiny bit of these. Look at this. This is lean beef. I'm gonna cut it very, very thin, okay? Very, very thin. One, look at how thin this is. Very, very thin. It is so thin, there is no room for the calories to hide. <laughs> That's what you call lean beef. Skinny lean beef. Okay, put it over here, look at this. One more time, lean beef. Isn't that amazing? I am impressed. <laughs> and then cut it a couple more slices. Every single slice is very, very lean. And then you lay them all out over here, raw, okay? You don't have to cook it. Put it one, two, three, okay? But you don't even have to marinate it in this particular case. If you want to marinate it, all you have to do is marinate it with a tiny, tiny bit of soy sauce, okay? Very, very quickly. Tiny bit of soy sauce. Let's cut this up. Let's cut this up. Okay, let's look at it. Tiny bit of soy sauce right here and a tiny, tiny bit of sesame seed oil, and also a tiny bit of dry sherry, and also a tiny bit of cornstarch. Marinate this a little bit, okay? You do not have to marinate. You can put it, lay them all out, lay them all out, nice and tasty, okay? And then, in the broth, we're gonna put some chopped, you know what this is? Lemon grass. It is not a grass. This is a herb. You cut it up, you don't want this part, you don't want this part, it's too fibrous, too woody. And then all you have to do is cut up a tiny bit of this, put it in your soup to get the flavor out, okay? To make some hot and spicy dish, you also use a tiny bit of lime juice, squeeze a tiny bit of this, okay? And then you can use this noodle. This noodle is the Japanese style thick wheat flour noodle, look at this. You bring to a boil in water for about two minutes. They call udon in Japanese cuisine, okay? And this is a very interesting pan-Asian creation. I use this pan for it. <laughs> Stir fry it, make sure, put some green onion, and then this is done, you get a ladle right here, and ladle this broth, okay? Look at this, right over here. Look at this, it cooks instantly because it's so thin. Okay, look at this, huh? Can you believe it, look. And then sprinkle this with a tiny bit of extra green onion and bean sprout and also chili. You have a beautiful Hanoi beef and noodle soup. <laughs> the noodles are delicious. The next thing I wanna show you is rice noodle with chicken in black bean sauce. Very, very popular dish. Rice noodle in China we call fun. It cooks very easily, it's delicious. And it's time for fun. Fun and fun. <laughs> First we cut up some chicken. Traditionally, this particular dish they use beef, but I use chicken, okay? Because chicken is good, lean, delicious. And then you marinate this with a tiny bit of soy sauce, dry sherry, okay? Soy sauce, cornstarch, and soy sauce, cornstarch, and dry sherry. Mix them all up, okay? Marinate this. In the, in the meantime, let's turn up all the heat so we can make the sauce and the noodle and the chicken at the same time. Here, very easy. We cut up some green onion. Why I'm still heating up more? At an angle, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. It looks a lot nicer when you cut everything in an angle, okay? Cut more if you want, okay? More, 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 more. If you have time, cut even more if you want, but that's enough. And also, we're gonna get ready to make the sauce. Now here, 
we're gonna stir fry our beef or chicken. You can use beef, chicken, or pork, or turkey, okay? Make sure, stir. And then also use a tiny bit of garlic and ginger. Not much, just a tiny bit. Make the sauce, okay? Done. Oh, ginger, done. Nice. I love it. So easy. Piece of cake. Okay. Listen to the sizzling sound. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Wow, it moves. When you move, the whole earth moves. That's why it's exciting while cooking. When your walk move, you move, and the entire city moves. When this is nice and done, you put some snow pea, some green onion, and put it right in there, and you stir fry. In the meantime, you can make the sauce, okay? Here, I have some chicken broth, soy sauce, and also a tiny, tiny bit of sesame seed oil, sugar. About half a teaspoon of sugar, tiny pinch of white pepper, and we're going to put it in and make the sauce. And then, if you want to make it black bean, put some black bean, crushed black bean. Stir this, make the sauce, okay? Thicken this up. Make sure you thicken it up. Look at this, stir this. Very easy to do. Thicken this up. When it's nice and done, stir this more. And then you put the noodle in because the noodle doesn't take too long to do, okay? The black beans, is this black bean is salted and fermented. It's not the same black bean you normally see in the Latin American cuisine. See, I do know beans about beans. <laughs> and then you put the sauce right in here. Look at this, look at how beautiful. We will get rid of these. And this is how beautiful this is. Very easy to do. If you want, you can sprinkle crushed chili right over here. And this is a very, very popular dish in Chinese restaurant. And we'll serve these right over here. And you can see how beautiful this. Chicken chow fun with black bean sauce. <laughs> ah. Now, after this dish, we are going to do another dish, very, very simple dish, everybody can do. Here, we turn this up again, very easy to do. Heat this up, the first thing we do is to make, this is going to be chow mein with a meat sauce. We'll save time by putting a tiny bit of oil right over here. Make a little pancake. So this is how you make pancake, okay? Make a little pancake. This is, I'm taking a risk, okay? In the meantime, I also would like to have a pan, which I can make the sauce, okay? Look at this, let's rinse this. Okay, we're gonna use this to make the sauce. Everybody can do this at home. Okay, look at this, make the sauce. Turn them with a spatula. Okay, if you're not quite sure. In the meantime, we're gonna get ready to make a sauce. Right here, we have all these sauce. We have turkey, ground turkey. We're marinating the ground turkey with dry sherry, cornstarch, and soy sauce. Okay, mix them all up. Look at this, mix them all up. We're gonna stir fry to make the meat sauce. Here, I also have a tiny, tiny bit of Chinese sausage. And you cut it up into little Pieces like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Set up. One, two, three, three. Done. And then you put them all together, okay? And then I have some water chestnut. Also crush it up. And then we're going to make the sauce. Look at this. Heat it up and put a tiny bit of oil, okay? Put a tiny bit of sausage. Okay, this is a marvelous sauce. And put a tiny bit of garlic and crushed pepper hot, spicy food. And then you put the turkey right here, okay? Stir. While you're doing this, you can turn this upside down with a spatula, but if you're more adventurous, huh? Done, look at that. Okay. 
Make sure you stir this and cook. This way, you can put this on top of a beautiful dish. Then you can serve. Look at this. I am going to mix some sauce. I have some chicken broth. I have some sesame seed oil, tiny bit of white pepper. And also, I have some oyster flavor sauce. We'll move this around. Stir this with a spatula. Stir, stir. Concentration. You ask, Martin, how come you slow down? You're not talking. Because when I concentrate so much, I beat my tongue. <laughs> when this is nice and ready, we'll put the pancake once again. Hop. Look at that. Hop. <laughs> Look at that. Marvelous. When this is done, we put the pancake right over here, and our sauce is ready because it doesn't take too long. If you want, you can give a little final touch. Stir fry. Chow mean. What do you mean, chow? Chow? When you stir fry, this motion is called chow. I am chowing my meat, <laughs> and I am chowing mean. And I'm chowing my fun. I'm chowing and having fun at the same time. <laughs> when this is nice and done, add a tiny bit more soy sauce. And this is beautiful. This meat sauce is for that right here. Noodle pancakes with meat sauce. We have talked about noodles and we have talked about pasta. Now we are going to have more fun. Please welcome the Chinese noodle master, master chef of Sen Wang restaurant in San Francisco, Chef Tofu Wang. Funny, 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 funny. Why don't we do something exciting? Make okay. some noodle because we have to have more pasta and noodle. Now this is the ancient art of noodle making, a noodle pooling. In originally from northern part of China, it can be very exciting. <laughs> it can excite you, give you a high blood pressure, and you bang the damn thing. Make sure your counter is marvelous. You need the dough. You know the rule of dough, nice and smooth, and you make it into a nice. Always remember have enough flour, and then you pull it, twist it. Good exercise. See, twist, twist your. Waist and keep on twisting until you get a really nice elastic texture and consistency. Then you make it into one long strands like this. And more flour, look at this. And then you roll it, roll it, and roll it. Looks like a little snake. Roll it. Good exercise. And then from one to two, you make two strands. And then from two, you make four strands. Geometric progression. And now more flour. No, more flour, OK? <laughs> I'm the flour holder. And then from uh, four, you make 18. No, four to, to eight, eight to 16, 16 to 32. From 32, you continue to do it until, look at this. You continue to pull this. It depends on how many people. You have more people, more strands. You keep on pulling. <laughs> look at this. Look at this, this is, look at this. And then, we can cut this off right over here. And everybody can see how gorgeous it looks. Look at this, okay? This is just a warm up. In case you didn't know, this man is the reigning champion of the Martinian noodle pooling classic. Last time, our chef met a brave challenger. Let's take a look. Hi, are you having fun? Oh, yes. <laughs> Not only that, if it's long enough. <laughs> wow. Tom, you need more flour. More, you need yeah, more no, flour. I'm on the table, are you? <laughs> you need more flour, Tom. <laughs> hold on to this, pull this. Oh, hold on to this, pull it all together. Together. And no. then hold on to this with another finger. <laughs> Do it fast. <laughs> 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 I understand our challenger has been practicing every day for the past 12 months. And he's here for a rematch. And please welcome Mr. Tom Walton. <laughs> welcome, Tom, once again. Tom, you have been practicing. I was the star of spring training noodle camp. <laughs> Tom, do you have any confidence this time for this rematch? I think the title is in doubt. Now, <laughs> let us, this time, last time, 
Tom was making such a mess. It took me two days to clean it up. So Tom, you gotta help me out to let's cover my stove. Just in case Tom doesn't remember. Last time, he always forget the flour. This time we have 50 pounds of flour <laughs> right here for Tom, okay? Let's shake hand. And this. <laughs> Come out noodling. <laughs> we gotta have a noodle for the, for the gentleman, okay? It was rigged. Right, look at this. See, this is plain, so this way, Tom, do not have that vintage. Tom, more flour, flour Martin. <laughs> more flour. Remember. Hurry up. <laughs> more flour, Martin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bang. Wow, look at this. Tom, you are making a mess. You, I'm making noodles. You have been practicing. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, Tom, you're too slow. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I cannot believe Tom have been practicing. More flour. And this, more flour. More flour. More flour. Oh, look at this. Look at Tom, look at this. This I'm, is getting embarrassing. I'm gaining on him. I, more flour. Tom, you gotta, you gotta make it one strand. You have bang enough, you're beating the damn thing to death. <laughs> you have to make a long strand like this. Long strand, long strand, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Massage the damn thing. <laughs> make long strand. Okay, roll it, roll it, you roll it, roll it. Long strand, not a mass, not a noodle mass, yeah. More, look at this, always remember, always remember, more flour, more, more flour. flour. Look at this, huh? Tom, just, just take a break. Look I at have this. one noodle. Look at this, huh? Look at this. <laughs> Tom is cracking me up. <laughs> Tom, you are doing okay. After 12 months every day, Look at this. I'll Look bring this. this back in a year. <laughs> Look at this, huh? Look at this marvel. Let's continue to do this because this is, let's do another one. You gotta continue to do it because I wanna make sure when you do one, he already have finished the second one. Let's Not do it. Not a chance. <laughs> let's do it. Make More sure. More flour. Make sure. Make sure. Yeah. Wow! Always. Tom, I always said more, more, More noodle. flour, Martin. Hurry up! Hurry up! Just continue to do it. More flour, more flour, more flour, more flour. Continue to do this. I said, Tom, more flour. I am. Continue there we go. To do That's it. all continue I needed. A little more flour. Continue to do it. Continue to do it. Continue to do it. See, the idea is to make a long strand before you pull it, before you fold. Look at this. Look at this, huh? This is how you do it. Long strand before you pull it. This is how you do it. You see this? Now, pick it up because this is a chop on the floor noodle. <laughs> Maybe we could invent a new variety? I think what happened is Tom just do not have enough flour. <laughs> I would like to say, Tom, it looks like you are still not good enough. Are you going to come back for another rematch next year? Back to spring training, Martin. Back to spring training. It looks like we need some new challenger from the audience for our noodle, pasta, and more fun. Until next time, if Yen can and his friend can to make noodle, so can you, Joy King. Please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this noodle, look at this.